So guys, it's Ola, and today we're going to be having a look at some of the simulation filters, which are pretty fun. As you can see here, I've got uh, the first one already stacked up and ready to go. That's how professional I am. And uh, here we have just our comp. So I'm just going to preview this uh, short burst here. So I'm just going to close our loop area. And as you can see, we've got our text comp. If you haven't watched the previous tutorial, I'm talking about this one. And the first effect we have is bubbles. And this is like the only way I can find useful to uh, to kind of show this effect off because um, it's quite limited in what it does but uh, to, to create something super stylized like this uh, it actually looks kind of nice I think um, so uh, I'm just going to show you how to create this real quick so um, if we come back and I duplicate this up to one of these bubbles I'm going to change that back to normal I'm going to reset so this by default is what your effect will look like. So I've applied it on the layer that has, well, basically this, so it's a big still. And what it will do is it will create this simulation of these bubbles just kind of going up and they're getting their color from wherever they are in terms of the original image. So obviously we have our greens and our turquoises and our yellows. And uh, you can change the reflection from metal to uh, to liquid which gives a slightly different look and then here you have the the three different effects you have light and dark and fade inwards and then fade outwards which is this kind of like a shaded sphere look um, so depending on the look you're trying to go for it is actually quite and then you can have just like flat flat kind of shaded uh, balls and then if we increase these bubbles so I'm going to crank this up and then just crank the bubble size up. You can see, start to see how I got the effect. So this is the effect on a very basic level. And this is a point where you would just try and tweak your effect to what you want it to do in terms of like movement speed and um, how many bubbles there are and that kind of thing. So uh, if we have a look here, uh, as you can see, once you crank this up, this takes a long time to run not one of those effects which has been streamlined for the graphics processes just yet which a lot of the plugins have been updated to do which is kind of cool in the last after effects update so i'm just going to preview this as you can see there so let's just assume this is kind of what i want um, it looks kind of neat already um, so what i did last time was i just i just duplicated this change this to lighten which will get us these kind of uh these spheres, you can color dodge them, you can add them. What I did last time was I just changed, I had the bottom one at lighten, change that to liquid, lighten, and then I had the top one on overlay. And then uh, I think this one, in fact, let's just have a look. Turn the original ones on. So bottom one was metal lighten, and then this was fade inwards, which is the kind of shaded look and then I just added a little glow on top so uh, you can see there you can create quite a nice abstract kind of uh, bubbly pattern but again this this uh, this plugin is kind of fairly limited to just doing something like that so bear that in mind next up I have one of my favorites and it's super subtle uh, I don't use card dance I don't use caustics uh, ball action is great because it creates instantly you can see what it's done it's created this kind of pixel look and uh, you can actually customize this first of all like the main thing is you can scatter these so it basically has turned it into like loads of tiny little balls and then you can like get them to come backwards or forwards and then reform the screen which is cool you can rotate as you can see that it's just a grid of balls so you can rotate that you can uh, twist, which just twists like the whole damn thing. And then when you're scattering and twisting, you can get some interesting effects as well if you combine those two. But uh, the real fun to be had is in the size of the grids that we have here. Instability state, uh, just kind of, uh, I believe it adds a little wobble to, um, to the balls if they're just sat there. Typically, I don't like that because if I am going to use this effect, I don't actually use any of the um, scattering effects. I just, what I do is I will, you, 
can I mean you can get something super abstract here but uh, what I would do is typically bring the spacing right down come into here and you can see you can basically create a kind of uh, really subtle LED effect and so that's generally what I use it for add a bit of a glow on top and Bob's your teapot uh, so I use this a lot of time to create like fake LED screens and stuff like that and uh, it can be really powerful for just getting that kind of effect across so uh, that is typically what I would use it for but yeah you can then explode the screen if you want that is not what I'm going to be using it for today so uh, that's what I use ball action for again with these plugins I'm just telling you how I use them I'm not saying you can't use the other ones uh, drizzle does pretty much exactly what you would expect creates this like little wet um, I'm going to take this horrible glow off so this is almost like you're looking down on something and it's getting rained on it's pretty simple I don't think I particularly need to um, explain this too much you can increase the height of the ripples which is how pronounced they are increase the displacement which starts getting these really trippy kind of really uh, I would say and spreading is how far these things go so you can have them like tiny so it almost looks like uh, the side of a bus window or something and the bigger the lights uh, the bigger the spreads the um, further out they'll go so let's reset that and then with the longevity you can have like how long these actual little ripples last so here they're lasting longer and so we, we're gonna get a lot more filled in so again it can be kind of cool for creating uh, just kind of like puddle effects and stuff CC hair I don't really use but you can get this kind of like uh, is it like the Thomas Jack video uh, now not much is moving in this uh, let's see do I have any animation in the project I have our hands here so let's bring those in Oops. and if you add the hair to the hands as you can see here we've got two layers so let's uh, so as you can see here, they kind of move around and that's kind of fun and you can increase the length and thickness but it's quite a limited effect but uh, again it depends the kind of thing you're trying to do but uh, you can kind of get <laughs> rustling in the grass effect and you can change the hair map and color and stuff so this is how pronounced the movement is in the hair and you have the color of the hair here so you can change it to more of a yellow or a slightly horrific green there and so you get the idea so basically where there's movement these hairs will displace and if not they will be kind of like straight depending on the color information in your video file so uh, kind of neat again and last but not least today we're going to be having a look at Mr. Mercury again I'm going to put this on the video layer and uh, this kind of just creates this crazy now you can see here you can increase the radius so basically what it will do is create like a fountain and um, this is how high or wide the producer is so you can get it to produce like all around the screen and uh, the way this can be used is for a nice transition because at the start as you see it as you go along time it just basically plays but it always starts off so what you can do is change like the size of the balls again you've got different ways in which to animate so we've got explosive got fractal explosion which isn't too different you got the direction where things will come out in a different direction you got the fire one which is where it kind of like burns up vortex one does pretty much what you would expect and kind of spins around in like a tornado shape uh, jet sideways is so this is like the straight down one but I think you can change the um, can change the uh, angle and so here we have the blob influence of the gravity so how fast these things will fall velocity how far these things will fly out at the start and yeah I mean that's that's about it really you can change the direction here um, but I could uh, blob birth size, blob death size. So here we go. So this is what I was on about making it transition. So if you start small, and 
over like a second maybe uh, bring both of these up that's probably not enough so let's just go up a bit more increase the blob death and blob birth and then eventually there you have it and then you can whoop, you can kind of like uh, whoa just activated a whole new section of Camtasia I didn't know existed which is kind of terrifying okay uh, I'm gonna do this the old-fashioned way go through to split and then we can just turn Mr. Mercury off there so uh, you can have your thing kind of start out and kind of blob out obviously I've had it happen really quick there you can have that happen a lot slower by easing this out and also yeah I mean like I'm doing it over a second there so just for the sake of speed but you could probably want to make that like more gradual so if we move that back and move this out hit N there you go you've got a nice kind of liquidy transition filling up the screen so yeah Mr. Mercury is like super fun but uh, it's one of those that you have to play with and it you know it's not one of those i use a lot but i have used it for like really fun transitions when you're doing like cell shading effects and stuff this kind of works really well so uh, i would definitely re only recommend this if you're doing like cartoony stuff so uh thanks for watching guys those are the first set of simulation plugins and we will be getting on to the rest of them in another lesson thanks for watching and i will see you next time